viewers welcome to my channel tech solution today i will discuss on a new series of my uh, video tutorial on java and uh, the introduction of uh, java programming with the ha with the installation of java software and uh, and the basic uh, uh, java platform will be discussed in second video and today I will show how to install this uh, software in your PC and uh, see the uh, web page I have opened it uh, Oracle Corporation Oracle.com and this is the uh, page where you will uh, download JDK Java Development Kit and it, it is 9 version and uh, for windows you should uh, download this 64-bit uh, exe 375 mb around the size and uh, for linux based pc you should uh, go for this uh, 305 mb and uh, and uh, now uh, i will show you i have already downloaded uh, in the lower version of zdk 8 and uh, I saw this version of JDK. Uh, this is 64-bit uh, version because of, of the my machine is 64-bit. I open it JDK 8 version. And you know this uh, the difference. What is the difference in the JDK and JRE? There are two versions of software. This is JRE. This is JDK. You know ZDK is a complete version with the uh, with the inclusion of JRE and JVM, and uh, uh, and uh, the ZDK is a complete kit for development of uh, development of a uh, software program on Java, and uh, in case of JRE, it uh, will uh, not available the compiler. So compiler, if you want to compile your program at your own then it should be uh, JDK so I will click on this yes and uh, then it will be installed the next page shows uh, it is preparing to install So the welcome screen says uh, uh, click on next and it says the components will be here. Uh, this is source uh, of uh, the uh, uh, ZDK and uh, development tools and uh, documentation public ZRE. And uh, next uh, path is here install to program files Java and JDK 1.8. It is okay now. It is. Uh, it will take a few uh, seconds for installation, according to this processor. It is still uh, in processing. A little uh, more time is uh, taking. Uh, two or three minutes I will pause it for uh, a while yes extracting the installer It's again confirming for the location on the station folder. So I will click on next, and it is uh, proceeding for the final steps of installation. And here on the screen, you have seen that three billion devices run Java. It is. Uh, extremely true. Uh, many many devices has Java component uh, still in hand. Finally.
finally you have the message uh, java rc development kit uh, as uh, successfully installed here uh, java rc uh, for standard edition development kit 8 and uh, with up updates uh, 64 bit successfully inso installed so next steps you click the access tutorial and uh, here also ask for the tutorials uh, and build tutorials for this i will close it after installation after installation of java I, it has uh, the uh, accessibility options uh, which is uh, able to uh, conforming the environmental variable here to set the environmental variable we have to click on this advanced systems property settings and uh, click on environmental variable and uh, on environmental variable uh, if there is part variable it is okay if there is no any part variable uh, yes you can uh, edit the part uh, edit the part and in this uh, location and uh, the right uh, most part semicolon and uh, paste the part of the java part where java software is installed so now i will check where the software is installed there i will open this computer c drive because i have chosen the c drive location uh, and uh, go to the program files uh, i will go to the program files here program files is here and uh, go to java and uh, uh, click on jdk and click on the bin folder and I right click on this because here java p and java c is here compiler file so I right click it and copy the address and this address will be paste uh, where I have already opened these things after a semicolon it should be paste placed and click OK so uh, it is uh, the part uh, set part on and order variable you may ask uh, that uh, why it is required because if it is uh, already installed or why the environmental variable is required you know java compiler for a file is uh, the is uh, 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 compiled and converted to class file dot class file so then the, the command is used at java c space the ja uh, file name with uh, dot x java extension so at in that case so the file will be uh, find out by the system if uh, there will be a specific path and this path can be accessible with the help of environmental variable only because in the command window in the DOS mode there is uh, there will be a specific uh, command for a specific folder but uh, I have uh, I can uh, create any uh, any of this Java folder in any of the drive of the system so environmental variable will uh, find out the uh, location of the Java folder and the class file and uh, execute it uh, in front of our uh, system so that is the difference between DOS and uh, environmental variable path so I will just uh, set the file and uh, I uh, can check whether it is working or not To check the accessibility, uh, here uh, open the command prompt and uh, type Java C and press enter. Yes, it is working now because the accessibility shows the all the help file of uh, compiler, uh, Java C compiler, and uh, also explain these things what are the information uh, of this java c compiler and if it is found by your system then uh, 
your installation is okay and the java compiler will be uh, working fine uh, thanks for viewing for setting of uh, java path and installation of java on your system and i think it will work for you and uh, in the next video i will show how to compile a small java program thank you